Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to today's Remote Work and Learning Solutions webinar. I hope you can all hear me okay. If any troubles with the audio, please just type a note in the chat box. My name is Paul O'Connell, and I'm part of the AWS team here at Ingram Micro. I'll be one of the presenters today. My co-presenter, also from Ingram, is Neo Jiang. Whether you're joining us for the first time or you've come back again, I'd like to welcome you all, and I hope you find today worthwhile and productive. Before we begin, I'd like to just take a moment to talk about what are the objectives of today's webinar. And you probably all, all would have read about the growth or the move to the cloud and how AWS is a market leader in this space. So as a partner, wherever you are on your AWS journey, whether you're just getting started, just curious, or you've already got an AWS practice, one of the big challenges that we find customers face is how do I get started? How do I find a solution that's profitable, that addresses a common customer challenge, and is in line with my current skill set? As you can see, remote work and learning is going to be with us for the next little bit. It's here to stay. People are going to be working from home for a long time to come. Over the course of the next 40 minutes or so, my colleague Neo will take you through how you can build out an AWS solution doing just that. Because remote work is going to be here for the next little bit, that means customers are constantly looking for ways, new and innovative ways to serve this solution to their customers. So I'm hoping that at the end of today's webinar, you'll have not only an idea of how Ingram can help you get started, but also how you can start your AWS journey and take those often difficult first steps. Next slide, please, Neo. I'll just give you a moment to quickly read through the agenda. Hopefully no surprises there. In terms of timing, we'll look to wrap this up just before two o'clock, probably about 10 to two. I hope you can stick around for the Kahoot quiz at the end. Apparently there is a $100 Uber Eats voucher on offer. So make a quick offer to go halves for anyone on that. But um, yeah, certainly hope you can stick around. And also we've got some great information on some excellent Christmas promotions we've got coming up. Uh, next slide, please, Neo. If, you've, if you're joining us again, you probably would have seen this slide, so apologies, you're probably sick of hearing it, but I'll just quickly touch on what this means. AWS is a new vendor for us here at Ingram Australia, but from Ingram Micro Global, we've been working with them for a long time. So the key takeaway from this slide is that if you're looking to work with a distributor, we know AWS. We've been working with them for a long time globally, particularly in the US and EMEA, which is where they're strongest. So that means for you as a partner, we have a really strong pool of global expertise, global best practices that we can draw on to help you as a partner get started on your AWS journey. I won't go through all the different points there, but the key takeaway from this is Ingram Micro knows AWS really well. We've been working with them a long time in other geographies, and I really hope you can, you'll, you'll join us as well. Thank you. Uh, next slide, please, Neo. I'd like to take a moment to talk about some of the ways in which we at Ingram can help you as a partner get started. And you're probably familiar with some of these, but I'll just take a moment to quickly read through them. Sales, practice development, business financial support, and technical enablement. Today, is we're touching on technical enablement. Neo's going to take you through how to build out the solution. But some other areas which I'll quickly cover off as well. We help you with sales. We help you with practice illuminate, which I'll cover off in the next slide, as well as business and financial support. So, uh, next slide, please, Neo. Thanks. So before I pass over to the main presentation, I'd just like to quickly recap some of the key points you get if you join the AWS program here at Ingram Micro. We can offer you up to 12% margin on your customer's AWS consumption. That's, that's a tiered structure, and I'll, I won't go through that in detail, but think of this. If you've got a customer that's already billing AWS, you can potentially make up to 12% margin on that consumption if they bill through you as a partner. One of the big challenges customers face when they move to the cloud is how do I keep track of my environment? And we've partnered with an organization called Cloud Checker, and we offer this to you free of charge that helps customers do just that. Cloud Checker is a cloud optimization tool that allows customers to get a really granular view of their AWS environment, and they can make decisions around cost optimization, resource optimization, as well as security and compliance. And the feedback we've had from partners who've used Cloud Checker is they really, they get far greater insight into their environment than they do with native AWS tools. We've also put together a really cool reserved instance program. 
Effectively, that allows you to drive extra margin on top of the 12% margin that you're getting, you're getting already. So again, if you're looking to drive AWS margin from customers' consumption, our reserved instance program is a really great way of doing that. High level, what Ingram does under this program is we'll wear the upfront cost of purchasing reserved instance, and we'll also wear any ongoing risk. And we pass on 65% of the savings to you as a partner. And those savings, you can keep that as margin, you can pass it on a discount, you can do that as you want. But again, please note this is a really great way to drive extra margin from a customer's AWS consumption. And we also offer, which I'll talk about in the next slide, a partner transformation program. Essentially, this program helps you get started on your AWS journey. And of course, needless to say, we offer pretty comprehensive technical support from, from our colleagues, Neo, and other partners as well. Next slide, please, Neo. Okay, before I pass over, I'd like to take a moment to talk about the Illuminate program that we've launched here at Ingram Micro. As I mentioned earlier, one of the biggest challenges that customers face when they bring on a new vendor is how do I get started? And our path to partnership or our Illuminate program helps you do that. We've partnered with a third party organization by the name of Syncorg, S-Y-N-C-O-R-G, if you want to type it into Google. But effectively what they do is they all work across four key areas of your business, sales, marketing, technical, and management. And they will help, help, help you rather build out an AWS business plan. They will look at where you're strong, where you, what are the areas you need to grow in, what are the areas you need to work on, and take you from where you are now and give you a comprehensive plan to get to where you want to get to when it comes to building out an AWS practice. Feedback from partners that have done the program has been that it's led in some cases to a 50 to 70% increase in sales. This program is run by people who are either ex-AWS or ex-Google or ex-Facebook or a whole range of different companies, so they know what they're doing. Now this program we're offering to partners free of charge. So if you're a partner with Ingram and you'd like to get on board with AWS, we can help you, we can enroll you in this program. And if you are serious about building out your AWS practice and really want some help getting started, then please reach out to me offline and we can talk to you about our Illuminate program. So just quickly before I pass over to Neo, we're really looking forward to working with you on, on your AWS journey. We've got a lot of tools to help you get started along the way here in Ingram, and I'm really excited to start this journey with you. Neo, over to you. Thanks, Paul. Good day, everyone. My name is Neil Zhang. I'm Cloud Solutions Architect, part of the Ingram Micro Cloud team based in Sydney. Now I will get started to talk about what AWS can offer for remote working and learning. Since the COVID-19 pandemic, the way we work has changed. Most of us are working remotely from one project to another and collaborating across the border, time zone, and different organizations. That's why organizations are looking for the solution to let the employee working securely from any locations. Let's take a look at this. There are the challenges and the pain point how employees can communicate and work with each other to remain productive and feel connected. The student need to attend class virtually and the contact center agents are not, are not able to get into the office, but still need to support the customers. How do I enable my employee and student to work remotely access the application they need? How do my employee and student engage with each other using audio and video conference at scale? How do I keep my contact center operational while all my staff are all working from home? How can my VPN service scale to handle peak demand when an unexpected event require many of my, all my employees working remotely? AWS provides a set of solutions which were built on AWS Cloud, quickly enable remote workers for employee, contractor, student, and contact center agents. Think, think about your customers uh, need to work from home due to COVID outbreak. Is their firewall cap able to cope all the demand? Do they need to have enough time to upgrade the firewall and purchase licenses? Uh, the contact center agents are able to log in anywhere securely to support customers via omni channel such as voice, email, web chat, or social media. 
Let's look at the remote work and learning solution offered by AWS. The first one is workspaces. Amazon Workspaces, which is managed desktop as a service solution that helps remote worker access application they need by delivering the cloud desktop experience anywhere over the internet on any supported devices. Apps Stream 2.0 is a fully managed application streaming service. The remote worker and student can access the application anytime without giving them the whole desktop environment. App Stream 2.0 can stream the application from AWS to any computer, including Chromebook, Mac, Windows PC. You can easily scale the application to stream to any number of the remote worker or student across the, go across the global without provisioning the, and operating the hardware infrastructure. Amazon WorkDocs, which make it easy to collaborate with others, each other from anywhere, allows you to easily share the content, provide rich feedback, and edit documents. You can use Amazon WorkDoc to retire legacy file share infrastructure by moving files to the cloud. Amazon Chime, is a collaboration tool that allows you to meet, chat, and place business call within a single secure application from anywhere. You can instantly go from chat to video call with screen sharing and you invite more people to join the meeting. Why is it time for a meeting? Amazon Chime will call you on your devices to ensure that you are never late for meetings. Amazon Connect can enable business to have a fully operational omni-channel contact center that can operate virtually anywhere. Agents, supervisors working from home can still operate the normal contact center activities. Agent can make and take calls from customers and supervisor can monitor and coach agent in real time, the same as the sitting in the office. Managers can view the dashboard and run real-time report to monitor search level, listen to the call recordings, and track the performance all from home. The last one, we have Amazon Client VPN, which is a fully managed pay-as-you-go VPN service that elastically scale to support thousands of remote users. Client VPN is designed to let remote worker can access any co company resources, both on AWS and on-prem from any location. So why AWS for remote work and learning? First one is security. Security start at AWS with a core infrastructure that custom built for the cloud and designed to meet most stringent security requirement in the world. The AWS infrastructure is monitored 24 by seven to help ensure the confidentiality, integrity and availability of your customer data. AWS Global Infrastructure enable company to be extremely flexible and take advantage of the scalable resources within AWS Global Reach. With AWS, you don't have to over-provision the resource upfront to handle the peak level of the business activity in the future. So, in, so instead, you provision the amount of resource that you actually need, scale your usage up or down, to be able to onboard thousands of employees, students, or contact center agents that respond to normal business life cycles and unplanned events. Adopt to change the business need without paying upfront fee for hardware or long-term commitment or upfront licenses. With a few click, you can set up a remote worker solution and pay as you go. Let's talk about desktop collaboration and the content collaborations here. How do I maintain business productivity now all the users are working from home? How do I quickly provision remote access for the user uh, to, um, to access the application without shipping the expensive desktops? How do I still maintain the control over sensitive company data to prevent data leakage? So we are talking about Amazon Workspaces, which is your managed secure desktop as service solutions. You may ask, 
how do I connect to the Amazon workspaces? So the user can connect to Amazon workspaces from supported device using a free Amazon workspace, workspaces client. So on a supported uh, devices, you know, including vast majority of devices you have nowadays, Windows, Mac, Chromebook, iPad, even Android iPad. The user will connect using credentials set up by the admin, or you can integrate your, um, you know, AD credential uh, to Active Directory. So the user can have like single sign-on to log into Amazon Workspaces. We will have a quick demo session after the, all the slides. So Amazon Workspaces simplify the desktop delivery for remote worker or students. It helps you to eliminate many admin tasks that associate to manage the desktop lifecycle, including provisioning, deploying, maintaining, and the life recycling um, desktops. There is a less hardware inventory to manage and no need to complex virtual desktop infrastructure that don't scale. What about keeping your data secure? So Amazon Workspaces deploy within a virtual private network or VPC, providing each user with access um, to access a persistent encrypted storage. You know, that storage is encrypted by the um, particular key that ma also managed by AWS, uh, the service called the KMS, Key Management Services. So no user data is stored on local device. That helps to improve the security of the user data and reduce overall risk of the surface area. Now the Amazon Workspace is available in 13 AWS regions that provide access to a high performance cloud desktop whenever your team needs to get work done. You can manage your global deployment of thousands of workspaces from AWS console. You can rapidly provision and deprovision desktop as you need. What about reduced cost? Amazon Workspaces eliminate the need to overbuy desktop or laptop resources by providing on-demand access to a cloud desktop that including a range of compute, RAM, storage resources that meet your user performance needs. Let's talk, let's talk about another one. The Amazon AppStream 2.0, which is a fully managed application streaming service that allows the remote worker or student access the application they need on any computer. Whether they are in a classroom, the library, or a cafe or at home. AppStream 2.0 delivers the desktop application to any computer. You can implement a policy that prevents users from copying information to the local machines. You can centrally manage your application. Simply install and configure your application on the AppStream 2.0 the same way you will use on a Windows computer and create a golden image. Then a few clicks to create a fleet of resources that user can start streaming the application from. The user get a version of the application that you specify. You don't need to patch the individual PC anymore. To upgrade the environment, you simply you, you can just update the image and the fleet of the resources, and all the user will get updated automatically. You can also integrate the uh, Amazon, uh, Amazon AppStream 2.0 with your existing IT infrastructure, such as SAML Federation for single sign-on or integrate with your on-prem storage or file sharing services. Another important thing to have uh, AppStream 2.0 is also reduce your IT spending. This service is pay as you go. You only pay the resources you provision plus the monthly fee per user. There's no long-term contract and complex licensing or termination fees such as uh, you can quickly spin up an environment for a training session or a classroom and turn it off. You only pay the resource you provision and the, the time you use it. So let's talk about Amazon WorkDoc. 
So Amazon Workdoc makes it easy to secure, store, share, and collaborate the document anywhere. You can virtually store any type of the file on Amazon Workdocs. Each user account on Workdoc includes one terabyte of storage capacity by default. So you can purchase additional storage for user on pay-as-you-go basis. There is no limit on the amount of the additional data or number of documents that you can store. You can access your Workdoc from anywhere on any browsers with connectivity to the internet. You can also access Amazon Workdoc data from mobile applications on iOS or Android. So Amazon Workdoc can also integrate with your existing Active Directory to have a single sign-on enabled. So you can have an auto activation enabled one provision Workdoc. So which means all the user will provide a valid account automatically. So another one, Amazon Workdoc is a HIPAA eligible PCI DSS compliance aligned with ICO compliance requirements. Workdoc help customers to meet their regulatory and compliance requirements for collaboration and file management. Let's talk about remote communication and collaboration. How do my employee students engage with each other using audio video conferencing at a scale? How do I quickly enable remote communication capabilities in my own applications? How do I deploy solutions that are secure and reliable to support business continuities? Let me introduce Amazon Chime. So Amazon Chime is a communication service to let you meet, chat, place business calls inside or outside application or organizations or using a single application. You, if you have a apps, your developer can use the SDK from Amazon Chime to add real-time communication to your own applications. So Amazon Chime is a proven reliable communication tool. It's powered by AWS Cloud. It is a modern team collaboration and communication service from AWS that make it easy for you to communicate with people inside and outside organization I mentioned earlier. With Amazon Chime, online meetings are easier and more efficient for, for, for the people to focus on the discussion. You can use Amazon Chime for online meeting, video conference, voice call, chat, sharing content. This is all easy to set up and from the same application. Let's talk about the virtual contact center. So what are, what are the, some of the main questions that come up when you think of the virtual contact center? How do I keep my contact center operational while all my staff are working from home, including this agent, supervisor, or managers? How do I keep a hotline rapidly response to customer about global crisis? How do I manage call chat volume that outpaces my current contact center capacities? Let me introduce Amazon Connect. Amazon Connect is a cloud-based self-service contact center that you can set up the, the whole contact center in minutes and op operate from virtually anywhere. So the contact center agents, supervisors, managers, and admin can work productively from home and pro provide amazing customer service. So all you need is an internet connection and a headset. As I mentioned earlier, Amazon Connect is a simple to use cloud-based contact center, which enables the business to do deliver exceptional omni-contact center customer experience that natural, dynamic, and personalized, including all standard functionality of a contact center such as skill-based routing. Skill-based routing enable the um, ensure customer to connect to the right agent at the right time. Voice chat communication are recorded, make it easy to monitor and improve the agent quality. All the common report and analytics you will expect are available and easy to use, including service level report, agent handling time report, and agent performance.
Amazon Connect provides a high audio quality with a standard broadband internet connection. So the agent can locate, locate it virtually anywhere, empowering business to offer uh, flexibility for the agent to work from home. As I mentioned earlier, the only hardware you need might be a USB headset. Now let's talk about the secure and the scalable remote network access. So what are some of the questions come to mind when looking to the network challenges for remote workers? How do I scale to handle peak demand? How do I provide secure access to my remote workers? How do I deploy or remove VPN access at a scale? So AWS Client VPN is a fully managed pay-as-you-go VPN service that, that elastically scale to support thousands of remote workers at the same time. So the first one is the uh, elastic scale to handle peak work from home on demand, such as unexpected events may require many of the employees all working from home. This creates a spike in your VPN connection or traffic that reduces your performance or availability of, for your users. Amazon Client VPN is elastic, uh, automatically scaled to handle peak demand when providing high quality user experience. So you don't need to worry about the number of users sending to home and connect to your resources on AWS or on-prem resources. To grant access, add them to the Active Directory group, such as security group, and set a rule for them to access this VPN client. Removing the access is such as easy. Remove them from the group. You define the access rule so you can make sure that resources are only available to authorized users. You can also use uh, client VPN to access the application for both on-prem and in AWS. The, the use case for this one, particularly for cloud migrations, when the application moved from on-prem to the cloud in AWS, so with this VPN, the user do not need to change the way to access the applications. So I'm going to show you some demo about this solution we talk about today. So the, the first one, going to be the workspace. As you can see from the, uh, the web browser here is workspace. I, I create a single workspace for me literally right before the webinar. I hope you, all you can see my screen now. Um, this is workspace. After you create a workspace and the uh, Amazon uh, Web Services backend will send email to the end user with the um, client link and the registration code. So let's look at the client link. If you open the client link email from the email here, it will give you the options that you can use to access these workspaces, including uh, iPad, Mac OS, Windows, Chromebook, Fire Tablet, which is Android uh, pad, and all web access if you choose not to use the client. For the first time, uh, you launch web access, they will ask you to put the authentication, like a registration code. Let's look, let's put it this way. The registration code you can get from the uh, console here. Here's the registration code. Once you put the registration code, they will link you to the, redirect you to the user login page. So you can put your username and password here. Just wait for a second. You can have the whole Windows desktop on your browser. So if you don't want to use this web browser version, 
So if there's a client version can be installed on the Windows. Here is the Amazon Connect Workspaces client version. For the first time you launch this application, they also ask you to put the registration code here. So what you do here is you just copy the registration code from the activation email or from the console you can ping to, you, to the end user. You just click on the register. And at the same time, you can put your username and password there and log into the uh, uh, workspace. Just wait for a second, you will have the full desktop user experience from here. This is your uh, remote desktop in the AWS cloud. So you can still remain the uh, normal business uh, operation and the, you don't need to manage the under layered hardware. As I mentioned, you only pay what you use. So as you can see, there's auto stop time is one hour, which means uh, if the uh, desk remote desktop was idle for about one hour, they will stop the desktop and stop charging you. That's, that's a pretty much a high level demo of uh, workspaces. The next one I'm going to show you is AppStream 2.0. Let's look at the search AppStream 2.0 from the uh, uh, AWS console. Let's try this app uh, streaming now. There are predefined applications you can use for now. There's a, one of the interesting uh, application is, is AutoCAD. So it's not a it's all it's not really AutoCAD, it's a free CAD, but still GPU intensive. Let's look at the uh, app streaming performance just using a browser. I will click on this application available for me, and literally you change your browser to a free CAD. This is how powerful that application streaming is. Is you can literally start your design active activity and just same as you are on a workstation. You can literally drag and drop and start the, um, you know, this is a really GPU incentive. You, you can still finish your tasks on a browser instead of purchasing really expensive workstation with a graphic card. As I mentioned earlier, all you need to do is just uh, build an image and create the resources, which is a resource pool, and just provide this link to your end user to start app streaming service. So, so the next interesting one I'm going to show you is the uh, Amazon Connect. As the Amazon Connect I mentioned earlier, Amazon Connect is a contact center as a service. So you can literally start a uh, launch instance within minutes, right? The one I'm going to show you is how you're gonna start a contact center service within minutes. First of all, you need to explore your channel communications, right? Such as you're gonna use like chats or um, make or receive call from the agents. You're gonna set your hours of operations, like your opening hours. Create a queue, create a prompts, and create a contact flow. Create a routing profile, and where to, how to, how you're gonna route this, uh, the call or chat to the agents and create a user such as your contact center agents, supervisors, or managers. So different, um, different user got different privilege and permissions. And I'll give you, show you the high level, how the thing work together. So as I, as I mentioned earlier, I need to um, claim a number, right? So for instance, I can claim uh, um, new, the number in New South Wales, or I can claim number anywhere just select the countries here and to put a prefix, right? You can put a, oh, this is a toll-free number. You can, if you don't want a toll-free number, you can put a PST number anywhere. 
and such as I put a toll-free numbers here is and I claim the number first of all and I attach the number to a contact flow this is my first uh, sample inbound flow which is I show you how easy to create a flow is it's just a drag and drop You can see this is all kind of a visual flow chart. When call start is um, how we're gonna determine which queue to uh, to route it to be routed. And it press one to route it to the sales, press two to route it to support, press three to route it to admin. It's, it can be defined here. It's pretty easy and straightforward. Now I'll give you the demo how easy that was agent dashboard is. Let's do a test chat. On the left hand side, you can see there's a web the website I embedded with the uh, Amazon Connect chat window. What I'm going to do here is I'm just going to um, click on the chat. I just need some help. The queue, they will let the customer know, oh, the queue is less than five minutes. You can see the coming from chat is, um, which is from the customer is coming. What I do is I accept the chat. Now I can chat with the customer. While I type something here, you can see uh, customer was saying, okay, Neil has joined the chat and uh, I'm just typing something as you see, hello. Hi, it's pretty easy and straightforward. You don't really need to uh, deploy the, like the server farm to support such platform. It's just a fully pay as you go. So the last thing I'm going to show you is the, um, Client VPN. Client VPN is under the VPC. So what you can find here is so under the firewall, there's a client VPN endpoint. So how are you gonna deploy client VPN? So once you set up a client VPN, the user experience is you can deliver the self-service portal to your end user. Just copy and paste the self-service portal here. All you need is just using and password from your IP directory. I can do my username and password here for my dummy user. And all you need to do is download the uh, VPN client for Windows, Mac OS, or Linux and download the configuration file. And the client VPN will automatically uh, load the configuration file and you can ready to start the VPN connection. So I'm not able to show you the VPN client connection, but uh, once I connect, I will disconnect it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect from another PC. Once I get the connector to another PC, you will see the connection coming up uh, into this connection. You can terminate the connection if you don't like this user, but uh, it's really give you a uh, fully control of your VPN client. You don't really need to spin, uh, spin up the like hardware or virtual appliances of the firewall, but you can instantly start give the user access to VPN to access your AWS environment. Let's do a refresh here. You can see I have uh, um, VPN connected, but that was terminated uh, a few hours ago. Let's do another refresh. It will be connected very soon. You can see here, I got active connection from my uh, Mac and I got the ingress and egress uh, data transfer. And this is my client VPN. You can attach this, uh, client VPN to either subnet or different uh, security group. And uh, you can authorize this uh, um, VPN client to access particular resources. And you can also associate the v VPN client to a specific uh, particular uh, subnet. So that's a pretty, really flexible uh, VPN client you can leverage. You don't need to uh, spin up the hardware or maintain the licenses. As I mentioned earlier, it's a pay as you go. So uh, that's pretty much a high level of the demo for today. Let's go back to the slides. So uh, there's a lot of tools you can start to use. The next step is uh, for the partners, 
you can spin up the uh, AWS account. And the uh, you know, if you are part, you have a partner ID with AWS, uh, work with us uh, on board as the Ingram Micro AWS partners, and uh, you can get a special offer. Paul mentioned earlier, and like a partner program or a cloud tracker, and you can literally enable your customer for all your own employee of student and for all contact center agents. So we have covered the AWS solution enable remote worker and to work more productive. But the key thing I want you to keep in mind is all about agilities, how quick we can enable them. So I want to look at all the solution I demo earlier and that we discussed today and think about the way you can go to the market with these all the solutions. Think about all your customer base and think about who they are, you, who you've been working with and the challenges they are be facing, right? You know there are heaps of organizations still have the solution in place, uh, but not necessarily going to fit their needs in the future, especially in the COVID situation. So again, think about the agility factor and how you can deliver this to your customer. I know today is a really high level overview of these solutions. Uh, we are expecting more questions coming in and we are ready to help. So the next um, is Kahoot time. I'm going to pass the control to Dorothy to give you some um, Kahoot game time. Awesome, thank you so much, Neo. So I hope that everyone is um, ready for this Kahoot game. For those that haven't played before, um, please feel free to uh, search up kahoot.it to join the game, or if not, download the app on your phone. Um, I just wanted to keep in mind um, as we are joining this game, um, if everyone could please put their first name um, as the player name to make it easier for us to um, distinguish who the winner is. And as mentioned, we have a $100 uh, Uber Eats um, voucher up for grabs for the winner. Um, so as shown on the screen, the game pin is 7027130. So I'll just give everyone a couple of um, minutes just to um, join the game. So thank you to the seven people that have joined. Just while you're doing that, Dorothy, just quickly yeah, um, sure. before we begin, if you if you do have any questions, and Neo, thank you again for the presentation. If you do have any questions uh, that Neo from from Neo's presentation, then please type them in the chat box after we've done the Kahoot quiz. We'll certainly address them, um, and we can yeah certainly address them after the quiz. So please take a moment if you do have questions. Thank you. Back to you, Dorothy. All right. Awesome. Thank you so much, Paul. Um, and I wanted to mention it is a total of six questions. So we've got two um, fun questions um, which are situated at the start and the end of the Kahoot. And then we've got four questions which are quite relevant to the webinar. So I hope that you are all listening. Thanks Bill for joining. Um, and I'll give you all a few more seconds um, to get everyone in the game. Um, and another pointer for those that haven't played Kahoot, it is a game of speed. So even if you get the, the answer wrong to the question, um, the faster you respond, the more points you get. So um, just wanted to keep that in mind because that is quite relevant for Kahoot. Um, and I'll give you all maybe about five more seconds. We'll see if anyone pops in. Okay, I'll start the game now and good luck everyone. And keeping in mind the first question is a fun question. Okay, question one, how many languages are written from right to left? Is it 10, 30, 23 or 12? Oh wow, you guys are great. So the answer is 12. So well done to the seven that got it correct. 
And well done, Martin, Maria, and Sandy. And the next question is going to be relevant to the webinar. So what's the maximum margin if, AW if AWS reseller chooses to work with Ingram Micro? Is it 3%, 4%, 5%, or 12%? I think you were all quicker on this one. So hopefully you can all get it right. We've got 10 seconds on the clock. Three seconds. And the answer is 12%. So well done, the majority got it right. Um, well done to the 11 that got it correct. And we still have Martin O on the leaderboard on top. So well done, Martin. Well done, Sandy and Andrew. Okay, question three, which of the following benefit is not part of remote working and learning solutions? Is it workspaces, AppStream 2.0, client VPN or cloud formation? So we've got eight seconds left. And the answer is cloud formation. All right, awesome. So we've got 13 people that got it right. We've still got Martin up the top. Well done and well done to Andrew and Sandy. Question four, true or false, Amazon Connect is 100% cloud-based omnichannel cloud contact center. Is that true or is it false? 20 seconds left. Oh, wow, well done. So 15 of you got it right. The answer is true. And we've still got Andrew and Martin still on first and second place and well done to Wei. Question five, true or false, AWS client VPN is a fully managed pay-as-you-go VPN service. I think we're waiting on one more. Oh, wow. Okay, well done. You got, you guys were all listening, so good on you. 17, correct. We've still got Martin up the top. Well done as well to Andrew and Wei. And the final question is a fun one. What was the first feature length animated movie ever released? Cinderella, Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, Sleeping Beauty or Beauty and the Beast? This is a bit tricky, so kudos to whoever gets it right. Just waiting for one more response. Oh, wow, majority of you got it right. So the answer is Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. So well done to the nine of you. Okay, so let's see who is the winner for this $100 Uber Eats voucher. So third place we have, oh wow, Martin O, okay. And second place is Sandy. And the winner is Wei. Awesome. Thank you so much to everyone for joining. Well done to the three winners and well done to Wei. I'll contact you after the webinar um, and you'll be able to receive your uh, $100 Uber Eats voucher. So thank you, everyone. Let me just pass this back over to Neo um, so that I can close, so that we can close the presentation. Yeah, th thanks for that, Dorothy. Great job. Uh, just quickly, Wei, if you could just type your name in the chat, your na name and email address, so we can send the send the Uber Eats out voucher out to you. If you don't want it, of course, I'll gladly take it. But uh, I'm sure you've. Uh, there'll be a claim it for that. So please just type your name in the chat box so we know who to send it into. Uh, just quickly wrapping up guys, thank you again for your time. It's just on 10 too, so we'll just quickly uh, wrap this up. As you can believe it, hard to believe it, but we're actually coming up to Christmas time. So we've got some fantastic uh, promotions coming up. If you're a Lego fan, you can see you can get a chance to win this great Imperial, yeah, sorry, the 
Imperial Destroyer here. I was going to say the Death Star, but I <laughs> don't know my Star Wars very well, obviously. As you can see, did you, we'll send you out at some details after the after the presentation, but you can see just got to be an AWS partner signed to Ingram. Recurring revenue is 25,000 or above via Ingram. Bit of a high bar, but we can probably negotiate that and have the, have bring it over by the 20, 30th of November. So if you can meet those conditions, you can potentially go in the draw to win this fantastic uh, Death Star or Imperial, you know what I mean. Um, so that's one promotion we've got coming up. Next one, next slide please, Neo. And another promotion we've got coming up, of course, is with our Illuminate program. If you bring your AWS consumption over to Ingram Micro, so that means if you've got existing customers there who are with AWS, they're paying with and direct, all you need to do is see if you can uh, just get them to bring their billing over to you as a partner through Ingram and you can get, you're eligible to participate in this fantastic promotion. Again, the we'll send the details of that through in the, in the follow-up email, but effectively it's a tiered structure where it's between a certain amount, you win a, if it's between zero to $10,000, you'll get a, a gift voucher for the $100. To, uh, ten thousand to twenty thousand dollars, you get a two hundred dollar voucher, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So a great way to earn some Christmas cash, which is only just around the corner. So if you've got existing AWS customers that are paying with AWS Direct, you can reach out to them, bring their billing through you as a partner, and we, we can you can go into the draw to win some great prizes, you know, to get cashed up for Christmas. So that's available now through through us here at Ingram Micro. And as I said, we'll send the details of that after the promotion. Sorry, after the after the webinar rather. But please, if you've got any questions, uh, feel free to reach out. Uh, next slide, please, Nia. Yeah, and that's just a follow on from that. So again, we've got some great promotions coming up. So if you are interested, then the details will be in the after the email, after the webinar. Next slide, please. Just quickly before I wrap up, just like you to introduce you to the wider AWS team. You can see me there, that's me at the top. We also got my colleague, Sunny. Uh, Sunny and I both work across AWS. Neo, who gave the presentation, great job again, Neo. He's a pre-sales architect and Ian Gaish is one of the pre-sales architects here as well. We're part of the team here in Australia. Let's not forget our cousins in New Zealand. We've got Sandy and Cal Pesh. Sandy is one of the BDMs and Cal Pesh, of course, is one of the AWS pre-sales architects. So again, we're here to help you, whatever your problem, whatever your challenges is. If you are interested in AWS, you can see our details there. Please reach out and we're more than happy to help you with whatever it might be. Uh, next slide, please, Neo. I think that's probably it. So just very quickly, um, we've got some time for some Q&A. It's just on 10.2, so it's just a couple of minutes before two o'clock. If there's any questions, please type them into, into the chat box. Uh, Way, I haven't seen your details come through, so please just pass that through if you wouldn't mind. Okay, just waiting for some questions. Just while we're waiting for those, just to quickly recap, as I mentioned, the objective of today's webinar was to give you as a partner, wherever you are on your AWS journey, an overview of how you can potentially get started. Today, Neo took you through how you can get started with a remote work solution. If you are interested in sort of learning more or, or getting on board the AWS Illuminate program rather, then please reach out to myself or Neo. We'd be more than happy to help you. As I said, AWS has got a range of solutions. They have, have over 200 services. So whatever your whatever business challenge you offer for your customers, it's very likely that AWS would have a corresponding service. We're more than, more than happy to help you get started on your AWS journey and we're looking forward to working with you. I don't think we have any questions in the chat box. So uh, as 10 to, I might give you some time back in your day. Thank you so much for attending. If there's no further questions, I'll wrap the webinar up here and thank you again for your time. And we'll wrap it up here. Thanks so much. Have a great day, everyone. And we'll close the webinar now. Thank you. <laughs>